find a quiet space and sit down. Take a deep breath and gently allow your whole body to relax. Within this silent and still space, awaken a spiritual thought. For example, I am a peaceful soul. Hold this thought. Don't think hard about it. Allow your mind to wrap itself around this simple positive thought. I am a peaceful soul, a being of peace. Hold this thought in your mind and very slowly allow your heart to experience it. Reaffirm the thought if you need to. Say it again to yourself and deeply experience it. As I hold this thought, I become the form of the thought. I am completely absorbed in the experience of the thought. This is meditation. Purity is the quality of the innocent and the young, but it is also a quality of the wise. Take a few moments to explore this quality of purity. What is pure is completely natural. It's in its original state of beauty, totally unpolluted untainted, pristine. What is pure is clean and clear. A soul with the quality of purity is transparent. There are no hidden agendas. There's no waste thought in the mind. The mind is clear, fresh, and souls are able to see through to the beauty of the soul. What is pure is also fragrant and fresh. There's a beauty that exudes from the quality of purity. There's a freshness it brings to any atmosphere, any relationship. And it's a great power because when a soul is pure, they're in their highest state, their original state, and all of their potential, all of their abilities are awakened. There is nothing holding them back. 
a child who is pure is able to fully celebrate the beauty and the wonder of the world around them. In this state of innocence, they are free of negative actions, free of guilt, free of the agendas of the ego. They are able to fully enter into the wonder of any given moment because their mind is clean, they don't think too much, and they're in their natural state. But purity is also a quality of the wise. It's a quality of the soul who has understood the nature of reality and who has left behind illusions and falsehood and superficialities in order to enter into the original truth of their being. They too are free of agendas of the ego, of negative thoughts. But instead of it being natural, they have found their way there through deep understanding of reality. How do we attain this state of purity? In the philosophy of Raja Yoga, we believe that as souls, like water falling from the sky, we first enter this world totally pure, just like the water that washes through mountains and cities and becomes brackish over time, we too lose our original cleanliness. We become layered in roles and responsibilities and experiences. To regain this cleanliness, we can connect with the one who is eternally the ocean of purity. In Raja Yoga, we believe that the Supreme Being, who some call God, some call Baba, some call Allah, is always an ocean of purity. Take a moment now to leave your world behind. Forget everything and allow the freshness of this energy to wash over your mind. See yourself like a child, free of the need to be anything, free of the need to prove yourself. And allow yourself to absorb the pure energy of the Supreme Being. When we are stable in our reality of being souls, and when we connect with that supreme ocean of purity, our mind becomes light. It becomes clean. Every time we take a moment to leave the world and connect with this energy, we clean the debris of the world from our mind. We remember our original unpolluted truth and reality of being beautiful, spiritual, divine beings. Allow yourself to bathe in these vibrations. And imagine your whole spirit being cleansed. That this beautiful sea of light washes away all the memories, all the roles, all the experiences. And you return to that simple, innocent, free, joyful space. Absorbing, bathing in the light. How does it feel to be completely clean, completely fresh, completely free?
When our mind begins to feel this purity, all other virtues naturally arrive in our life. It naturally brings the quality of lightness, of joy. In our original state of mind, our natural abilities and talents emerge. Our power to get things done increases. And a freshness is returned to the mind. Just like when the rains wash the earth, it's fresh and clean afterwards. Our soul feels rejuvenated. Our soul feels alive. And our soul returns to that natural state of love and power. To connect daily with the Supreme Being is all we need to restore the original purity of our natural state. When we see images of purity, of innocence, of cleanliness, of unleashed joy and vitality, that innocence touches something very deep in us. It stirs in us the memory of our true being and somehow we know once upon a time we had that. We came into this world as light, as beautiful beings full of vitality, full of freshness, full of spirituality, of joy, of love. We were purely authentic, full of gifts, full of capacities, and enjoy the freedom of just being who we truly are. I take a moment to remember that real part of me, full of that joy, full of that vibrancy, full of that light. But something happened over time. That freedom, that authenticity became darkened. It became stifled as I experienced loss, as I experienced rejection, as I was told how to act, how to be in the world, to have a sense of belonging, I stifled that authentic part of my being. And sorrow began. To return to that innocence, I have to be ready to leave the darkness in my own mind. I have to be willing to sit in stillness. And so right now, I let go of the world and all of its influences on me. And I take a moment just to center myself in quietness. I prepare myself To leave this world and I imagine a stairwell and step by step as I move up that stairwell I feel lighter and lighter farther and farther away from the heaviness that I've picked up on this journey of life and I take a moment right now to sense my true being that joy I felt as a child, that cleanliness, that freshness, that lightness that comes when I have no one I'm trying to be, nothing I'm trying to attain, when I am just in that pure state of contentment, I see myself as that light, 
and I feel myself as that pure, clean light, unmixed with anything. From this place, it's easy to see how I allow the experiences of the world to define me, how I allowed situations to smother that innocence. The journey back to innocence is not a journey of becoming, it's a journey of remembering. And each time I take a moment like this to remember my true spirit of vitality, of power, of purity, then I take a step back home to the real me, to the authentic me, to that mind that is clean of any memory from the past, to that pure essence of peace, when I too lived with complete freedom, alive and content. And I make this promise to myself that I will take that journey back to innocence, step by step, with each moment that I remember my true spirit.